Bro, when I tell you, this shit ain't that that thick. But I can use my pliers, man. Go through jeans and stitch mm -hmm. You know, I'm smooth with the pliers, oh, too. Man. Come, on, man. Come on, man. I can use pliers. So, this shit's so hard to stitch when it's that thick. You know what I'm saying? You you can't push it with your finger. Mm -hmm. Man, I know I use pliers and still make that shit sweet. Man, when I put these jeans together, bro, with that hand stitch, it's a wrap. Bro, nigga, I ain't even gonna be able to sell enough of these motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. I might have to take the price up to about five grand. Yeah. For real, for real. Then, man, niggas gonna be like, that's that shit, bro. Wow. That's that shit. It might be higher than that. For real, man. <laughs> like, maybe like 12 stacks of pounds. Man, I'm, just, I'm telling you, man, like, niggas don't understand. If you ever get a pair and you feel them and then you see it, man, the, bro, these joints right here come loose. And you know how you see the the, the, the um, machine stitch joint? You be like, oh, that shit tight. Man, this shit ain't nothing like my shit, bro. Maybe like <clears throat> close together wise, but durable wise, man, this shit always come loose for my shit, dude. Man, the hand stitch ain't no joke. They only got like one or two pieces of thread going through there. Man, I got ten. You know what I'm saying? Man. Come on, man. I just don't pull it tight because I don't like for my shit to be laid up like that. But, bro, this shit ain't going nowhere. Nowhere. I got ten pieces of stitching going through every hole on that motherfucking shirt. You know what I mean? Shh, man, ain't, ain't nothing. It, it, where it's going? Nowhere. You already know, man. You be seeing me trying to. When I make a shirt and then pull it off, try to pull it off, you know what I'm saying, and make something else out of it. I mean, sometimes I go through hell trying, depends on how the design is. If I can't cut the nigga look straight off, it take a long time to get that, that shit off, don't mm -hmm. it, bro? I be fighting with that shit, don't really? And I make it. Oh, that For real. It might take me 15, 20 minutes just to get the shit loose. Mm -hmm. Then once I get it loose, it's a wrap, bro. I know. It's over. I'm dropping some fire. Boy, we get to listen, man. When we get back to Philly, it's a wrap. You already know. I already talked to her. I said, look, when we get back there, we're gonna buy your 11 day pass. Take us where we need to go. He was like, bet. You know what that is. You know. When they come, when we go back, and they be like, man, what you got? It's over. It's over, bro. They looking for this clientele. We don't need... When, when I say I'm going to get the good quality shit, I mean the good quality shit for this market. Mm -hmm. See, we don't want to step into, like, the silky... We want that sweet-ass cotton shit, like that brown fabric. Right. That type of shit. But in a tee. Mm -hmm. That's it. And then expand to the microfibers. Man, it's a wrap. Bro, can't nobody fuck with this shit. I don't care what I put this shit on. Can't fuck with it. Underwear, socks. You can't, man. A nigga can't even duplicate it, show because I'm I'm out that bitch, like. You know what I'm saying? I'm out there, show. I'm out that bitch. And we got everything, like, legit. We suing motherfuckers, like. Smile at us wrong, we suing your ass. You know what I'm saying? Like, this shit real. We didn't took this road and got this shit together and like it's out there Ross World clothing then we got a monster lineup man we got a monster lineup just our network like man, ain't nobody trying to fuck with us man let us get our money man leave us alone man we got a powerful network bro I'm talking more powerful, powerful than that. come on man Kush Boys Jones Shep everybody they connected to you know what I'm saying Cap City Kush Boys from over here you know what I mean? Jimmy Stubbs and them. You know what I'm saying? Brian Evans. Come on, man. Yeah, that's a wrap. Big bro. Huh? Big bro. Oh. Oh, you are. Yeah, bro. Oh, man. That's, that's teams of shit. I mean, yeah, man. You, it'd be hard to live in this country fucking us over. For real. You the motherfucking teams is behind you, nigga. That's some real shit. <laughs> you bullshit, like, for real, you don't know who a teamster, nigga work at UPS, they teamsters, you know what I'm saying, some shit like sanitation department, correctional office, policemen, judges, judges are teamsters, yeah, man, 
Man, some shit on Teamsters, man. Some shit, bro. Fuck over here, yeah, man. Uh, I did this sense so they be like, I don't know. Nigga, Teamster. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, you done. Like, you just bragging on somebody that helped me get my pension. Oh, uh, yeah, you done. Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? That's how I put my, my daughter through school or whatever. I'm just Oscar Uglad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What the hell is this bullshit? Man, I'm gonna send this nigga like, bro, you had. Oscar, what the fuck is this, man? You know what I mean? Bro, what the fuck is this, man? For real. Oh, look. Damn. That's what my nigga just said to me. And hey, let me call him, because he ain't even getting more money than me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, that's cool. And I, I fuck with him, you know what I mean? But uh, he ain't on my level. <laughs> I mean, you know what I'm saying? That's all you got. That's all. You only show him one day. <laughs> fuck, nigga. You feel me? Nigga, we bring, I bring a whole, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we got houses like this full of fucking money. Come on, man. You like, man, 